hi guys welcome back to my channel i am doing my everyday makeup routine today i've done one a couple months ago but my routine has changed so much and i feel like i i probably say this every time but i feel like i now have like a really really good routine that i really enjoy um i've been definitely more into like kind of dewy skin which is very not like me i have oily skin so i feel like I'm, i've always just kind of tried to mattify my face a lot and now i'm kind of into the glowy look like i still have to powder because if not, I'll look like literally a grease ball. But I do like the um, glowy skin more now. And the only product that isn't usually part of my routine that I'm using today is my new foundation. Um, I haven't even tried it yet, but it is a foundation that I want to like put into my everyday routine. So I was like, let me just put it in here. I'll give you like a first impressions right away. And hopefully I like it so I can always use it. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm basically just going to talk through it and yeah. First thing I'm going to do is prime, obviously. I've been loving the Fenty Beauty True Matte Pro Filter Primer. Looks like this. And I just put a pump on, ah, on each cheek and then, oh my god, I'm spilling it. Um, and on my forehead, and then I just blend it in. I really like how this feels on my skin. It doesn't fully mattify it. It does kind of take away like most of the shine, but still leaves your skin, like as you can see, very nice and glowy and i just think it like my makeup just applies beautifully on top of it what i would usually use on my skin i have a couple products so i like the mac face and body i mix it with my nyx bear with me tinted skin veil quite often or i use the becca weightless blur foundation i used this yesterday on my birthday and it looked really nice my makeup lasted pretty much all day and it looked so good i guess this one's kind of like a budget version i love this on its own as well and then these two but the foundation i'm going to use today is the dior backstage foundation i have a sample in here as well so i'm probably just going to use that first i bought this yesterday and i've been wanting to try it for a really long time so I'm hoping I love it so this can be like my everyday foundation because I'm not really into full coverage foundation anymore. I really like foundations that are kind of just more natural and that just look like skin. And then I, if I want to cover anything else, I just use concealer and I think that just looks the best. I think this color is going to be pretty nice. Oh, that's a really good color. I got color match yesterday and I wasn't sure if it was going to be good because I always have struggles when someone color matches me. But I think this is going to be nice because my face is just always a lot lighter than my body so all i really want is to just even out the color i don't need like major coverage and i my favorite brushes currently are the makeup by ariel x morphe brushes um i love using this brush what's it called i don't know they're really dirty but i love using this brush for my foundation so i'm just gonna blend that in blend it into my ear I think this is a really nice match for like my body always just like blend it into my brows and into my onto my eyes i'll wipe my brows before i do my like before i do them so that they don't have foundation on them but i like just blending it all in so it all matches like it's not overly dewy and it's not like full coverage but it just adds like the perfect color okay obsessed love that product 10 out of 10 recommend. We'll have to see how it lasts, but I think it's gonna last for a while. So now I need to conceal. I'm still obsessed with the Too Faced Born This Way. I mean, nothing compares. This one is in the color Butterscotch. It's like actually quite old. I think I've had it for like two years. I kind of need a new one, but still has product in it. So might as well just use it up. And I'm gonna use this around my mouth for like my dark spots. And then I put some underneath my eyes. I use multiple concealers underneath my eyes to kind of cover my dark circles. Um, do I have anything else to cover? I think that's it. Just around my mouth and my eyes. I'm going to use the same brush and just stipple that in. And then I just blend this underneath my eyes. I'm not really trying to like highlight yet. I'm just trying to create like an even base. I really just think that works the best. Like if I went in with a super light concealer right now, my under eyes are just going to look a lot more ashy and it's not going to just like cover what i needed to cover so i first like to just create like an even skin tone before going in with other colors and blending is just like key like take your time blending because sometimes i rush it and then my makeup always ends up looking not great so my airpods always have makeup on them but it looks the best when you blend your foundation into your ears okay i've been obsessed with this product it's the chanel 
like cream bronzer i got mine in the color tandy bronze i wanted to get this for so long but i thought they only had one shade for like white people and then i saw that they have this darker shade and i think it looks really nice and all i really do is i like swirl the same brush i like using the same brushes for all of this because it just helps blend everything and i'm just gonna like put it where i would usually like bronze and contour and like it's not a super dark color which i enjoy like i can kind of build it up and it just creates a really nice base for like my powder bronzer because i still am going to go in with that but i think it just looks better like if you already kind of have something on your skin instead of just like going in with powder bronzer like it just creates a different look and i'm probably going to go in with more later once i've like out of my concealer so i just put it on the side i'm going to apply the Too Faced Born This Way, but in the color Warm Beige. I need a new one of this as well. I've had it for so long. And I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes, kind of like a triangle like that, and then dot it up there. Same over here. Dot it, maybe a little bit on my forehead. I can add some later as well, but I'm just gonna let this sit for now. Like I said, I'm gonna wipe my brows because I don't want foundation on them. Because, like, look, that comes off. And for brow products, I honestly just use different stuff every day because I have a bunch of different brow products. Like, I think these are, like, my most used. So I have the Urban Decay Brow Beater, um, Benefit Precisely My Brow, and the Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I have two of those. And then the NYX Fill and Fluff and Anastasia Brow Definer. I think I'm going to use the Benefit Goof Proof today. Any type of brow pencil I enjoy, as long as it's the right color. I'm not too picky about that. I just brush my brows up. I haven't really plucked them lately. They're a little, little crazy, but this is pretty much kind of like my natural shape. And I like to brush up the tail because I don't have much of a tail. Like, it's quite sparse up there. So I like to extend it and kind of... I'll show you. So the first thing I like to do is just brush like underneath my brow. And like brush over here brush not brush i don't know apply the pencil and it's quite dark but i'm gonna leave that and then i just take it underneath and for the tail i like to kind of go upwards and it looks crazy right now but i'm gonna fix that and then i just kind of fill it in right here and then i take the spoolie and i brush the front up so that the color fades like into the front of my brow and then i brush this out add some more Again, it looks crazy, but we're gonna fix that. I always like just doing the messly and then perfecting it with concealer. I've always done that. So, like that. And then I go in with the Butterscotch Too Faced Concealer. And then I just go in and shape the brow how I want it to be shaped. And it's nice if you use a color that's like close to your foundation. I do like using something that's a bit lighter just because I like the more highlighted look around my brows. Not everyone likes that, but I do. And then I just blend it out with a little, I don't know, what is this? Morphe M73. And I just blend it out. My brows never look the same. I've accepted it. There's always one that looks better. I feel like today this one looks better. But at the end when my makeup's done, I never really notice anymore. So it's time to blend out my concealer. We'll finish off the brows later. And I'm gonna use this Hourglass foundation brush. I love, love, love using this for concealer. Um, I'll like always switch between like sponges and stuff, but I've currently just been loving using brushes for everything. Um, and I loved using this for my concealer because it's a bit smaller and it really like, I don't know, packs it in. So I'm just gonna start blending out my concealer. I feel like this brush also just doesn't get rid of any of the coverage, which I feel like sponges do. So sponges would be nice for a more like natural coverage, but with concealer, I need the coverage because I already try to keep my foundation very light. So when I add concealer, like it really needs to just cover everything. And this brush, as you can tell, just perfectly fits underneath my eyes IMO bring it down a bit to highlight here underneath and then I go back in with my foundation brush and just blend everything in 
make sure there's no harsh lines and i do keep this brush just for concealer like this one i use for multiple things but when it comes to my brightening concealer i like to use the same one because i don't want to change the color and i'm gonna go back in with my chanel bronzer let me know if you want me to do like an affordable like everyday makeup a routine because like i do use like a mixture of like expensive and affordable products but if you want to see like a whole video of me doing like an everyday makeup look using affordable products i'm down to do that so let me know down below if you want to see that because i know not everyone has the money to buy all these high-end makeup products i'm gonna go in with a cream blush now the one i'm gonna use today is i think i'm gonna do a mixture of these two morphe cream blushes they're the just cream blushes is what they're called um i also like the stick from morphe I've used it a couple times but i just don't love sticks because you kind of like rub it onto your makeup and i feel like it kind of wipes stuff away so i don't use that often i also love this kiko fruit explosion blush it's just like a wand applicator and i think it looks really pretty um and then i also really like the oh high like blush cream blush thing it comes in a thing like that but today i'm going to use a mixture of these two and i'm also going to put on a powder blush but like i said i just have been loving putting creams on before i just think it makes the makeup look so much better and you won't have to use as much powder which helps you know keep the makeup look kind of more natural obviously everything's going to be linked down below with like shade names and stuff i think the colors i mean they're showing up they're just quite light for my skin so they're not too bright um i think this one's probably my favorite because it shows up really nice but and then i like to switch around with these things a bit so that um like the routine is the same i just sometimes use like different blushes and stuff to spice it up but i think i'm quite happy with my base like this my brush is very dirty so i always kind of wipe it on a towel so that there's not too much product in there and i can continue blending i use the fenty powder a lot but yesterday i used the laura mercier again which i hadn't in a while and i just loved how it keeps my skin from going extremely oily throughout the day but like it still leaves like a nice glow so i'm gonna use that today it's definitely just still my favorite powder ever i don't think anything will compare i'm gonna just blend away the creases underneath my eyes and then using a smaller brush to pack it on and keep me from creasing i still crease a little bit but it's definitely doable if i don't use any powder i'm gonna just look insane then i'm gonna take some powder onto my smile lines because i crease here a lot and i still crease even if i powder but it's just not as bad so and then i'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and i'm gonna powder my nose because like i said i'm oily so i do really need to set this well and like in the middle of my forehead i'm actually gonna keep my cheeks um i guess kind of wet i'm not gonna put any powder on there because i noticed that whenever i do my bronzer just turns out kind of patchy my favorite bronzer is the fenty beauty what's it called sun stalker and island thing kind of pat it on which will right away also set my cream bronzer in place and by not powdering my bronzer and like my cheeks and stuff it also just keeps the color really nice of like the cream bronzer that i put on and the blush and stuff just put it on my nose the way that i contour my nose is by adding bronzer onto it i don't i like my nose to be kind of more bronze instead of like going in with a super sharp contour and i take my bronze on a brush and take it up here just kind of creating that like button nose sometimes i'll like take my translucent powder to kind of sharpen it i can do that a little bit but i don't want to do it too much because i do kind of like how it looks now i just kind of take that in on the sides and i think for today i want to use my bronzer on my eyes um I don't wear much eyeshadow ever like if I wear anything it's usually just brown but I also love just taking my bronzer and like pop it in into my crease and calling it a day like I don't care to do like full eyeshadow looks every day like if I'm just gonna shoot some photos real quick I like to just do this and sometimes I'm feeling like oh I want to match it to my outfit but I am shooting quite a few different fits today so I like to keep it neutral so you can't really tell I shot it on the same day, if that makes sense. And also add it underneath my lash line, darkening that up. I like how that looks 
literally my favorite blush is this sigma blush and is it nymphae i think it's called nymphae but it's like a really pretty pink blush and i've just been loving pink blushes i think kylie jenner kind of inspired me to start wearing pink blushes um i really want to get the dior ones because they look so nice and there's also like a peachy one but i apply it with this brush which is like I don't know this is like the perfect brush for blush i'm pretty sure ariel also uses this brush on kylie for her blush but don't quote me on that i think he said that let's bring it all together i just think pink blush looks so pretty i've recently just been loving uh the becca champagne pop again this champagne pop right yeah champagne pop it's honestly such a good color like can't help it i don't even think they sell this anymore but i'm going to pop that on and I do like being quite highlighted. I just think it adds this really pretty glow to my face, especially when I'm taking photos. Like that. And then I'm going to um, put some setting spray on to kind of lock in all the powders. And I love the Benefit Professional Super Setter. It's a really nice mist. And just looks really nice on the skin. I'm going to set my brows. My literal holy grail brow gel is the NYX Brow Glue. This is such good stuff. It basically kind of looks like the soap brow, but it's easier. It's like really sticky. So I brush it through my brows and then I'll go in and I'll like, like, I don't know, pat it. Cause you want it to kind of stick down. So I'm gonna pat it and then I take a spoolie and I kind of like perfect the shape. So I'll brush it down and I really push down on my skin because I want it to be like sticking down on my skin if that makes sense and then I just perfect the shape and it lasts all day I also love using this when I'm not wearing makeup and I just want to set down my brows this is also perfect for that because it's just really natural but it keeps your brows in place so I already have a backup because I know I'm going to run out fast so I would definitely recommend buying this because it's really affordable as well because it's NYX. I mean, NYX is getting more expensive, but it's not its not a bad price at all. I'm going to pop on my Freck, which is my favorite product ever. If I don't do this, I feel like my makeup is not complete. So I like adding back beauty spots that I already have and I also like adding some that I just think look cool. And I feel like that really always just finishes off my makeup perfectly and then sometimes i'll do faux freckles but i haven't really been feeling like it i kind of like to keep it like this it's time for eyes so i'm gonna put on some falsies i have two techniques so sometimes i put them underneath my lash line which looks the most natural but it does kind of bother my eyes especially when i'm wearing contacts like sometimes it'll mess with my contacts so i'm just gonna put it on top of my lash line now but first putting on mascara this is the Ico black magic mascara sometimes i'll like skip lashes like this is where it again like kind of changes every day but i have been enjoying lashes lately and it kind of gives the effect of lash extensions which i really want again but i'm not going to do it because i my lashes are so good now i don't want to ruin them but this mascara is really nice because as you can tell like i barely even tried to make them look long but they look really good i don't know if you can tell but the lashes i'm using are actually i think they might be these kiss ones um i think they're number 11 because i think number i also have a number one but those are a lot yeah so i sometimes use these which are longer and these are a bit shorter more natural i still have a pair from yesterday that i'm just going to reuse um, if you clean them after using them you can totally reuse your lashes like a couple times lash glue i like to use is from queen tarzy i prefer when i'm doing like lashes on top of my lash line i prefer black glue i don't think i have that anymore though so i'll just use the clear one and i'll have to add some eyeliner to make it look more natural i have them cut into two pieces because i that's how i apply them underneath my lashes and i also just think it looks better on top of my lashes cutting them in two pieces just helps them shape to your eye a lot more and i think it looks better so you could even do a half like that like that's really pretty but i really i enjoy like the full strip but even doing half like that just on the ends like that's a really pretty look have like tweezers or something to help you out and i like pushing them down okay so both eyes are done i'm just gonna get my curlers and just squeeze it together 
And I still kind of push them down a bit because I don't want them to be too to this you know and i think i'm gonna put some i don't always do this but obviously i need to try to make these blend nice so i'm gonna pop on this is the lottie london it's like an um, eyeliner i don't know but i'm gonna pop this onto my waterline i'm gonna just add a little bit on my outer corner too my lashes are done now but i'm gonna use the same mascara i used earlier on my bottom lashes and just really make those pop you can see some of the glue in between so i think i'm just gonna use a um, just like a liquid eyeliner i'm gonna go in and try to get rid of some of the white white parts i try not to get it on my lid because it just makes it look like i'm wearing eyeliner which i don't love that look but i try to just brush it onto the lashes itself and the band to get rid of the white glue this is what you don't get if you put it underneath your lashes, which is why I think that looks nicer, but this is more comfortable. Last thing is lips, and I have a lip combo that's literally my favorite now. I use it every time I do makeup, and I need to share it with everyone because it's just the most beautiful combo and everyday lip that I've put together for myself. We're going to start out with the MAC Cork Lip Liner. This is my like all-time favorite lip liner. And I like to kind of overdraw a little bit. And then I go in with the MAC Kind of Sexy Lipstick. And I put this in the middle. And then tap it in. And then I go in with a red lipstick. I'm using Bobbi Brown because it's the only red lipstick I own. But you can use any red lipstick. Um, and put it in the middle. But like literally just, just this part. Like, which now looks kind of weird. But then you add a gloss. I'm using a clear gloss. This one's not clear anymore because I've used it on this lip combo. So it's like discolored. But using a clear gloss and then I'm, I love that. It looks so good. Like the little red in the middle. It's just, I think that's all. I'm pretty sure I'm done now, right? Am I done? I really need to tweeze my brows. They're so bad. I think I'm done. I think that's all. So that is pretty much it for my everyday makeup routine. Obviously, I don't wear makeup every day, but this has been the routine that I've been doing. And honestly, this Dior Backstage Foundation is so amazing. I'm curious to see how it's going to last on me, but it looks so good right now, and I'm like obsessed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and of course, subscribe. Also, follow me on my Instagram if you want to see more of my like day to day life. Um, yeah, again, I'm gonna have all the products listed down below. I'll be adding links to which they most of them will be affiliated Just so you know, I'll make like a small percentage if you use my link But you don't have to if you don't want to but I would really appreciate it and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video